Experts quoted by the Milk Market Observatory do not expect any improvement in prices before the September 2016. Another recent analysis which foresees the light at the end of the tunnel doesn't see producer prices improving until the first half of 2017. The following are the key elements of the new package. The first element of the package is €150 million, Euro, which is an EU-wide scheme and fully funded EU measure, which is aimed at incentivizing a significant reduction in milk production by the end of the year. It will be a simple, direct EU-wide scheme designed to provide a direct financial incentive to farmers who voluntarily reduce production. Necessary legislation will be in place by mid-September. The second main element is a liquidity measure of €350 million Euro in member state national envelopes. This may be topped up by 100%, thus potentially increasing the value of the measure to €700 million. Euro. The commitments will be linked to support of small farms, extensive production methods, environmental undertakings, cooperation projects, value-added quality schemes and training in financial instruments. Member states will therefore now have the option to review their voluntary coupled support arrangements for the dairy sector and effectively to decouple the payments. In practice, this means that farmers, having complied with the eligibility conditions applicable to voluntary coupled support in 2016, could continue to get this assistance in 2017 without the obligation to maintain the size of the herd. Of course, public intervention for butter and skim milk powder would normally expire at the end of September. But in view of the continuing difficulties in the dairy sector, with, especially with skim milk powder, and reflecting the improvement in the butter market, the Commission is proposing that the intervention period for skim milk powder be extended until the end of February 2017. There will be no further increase in the ceiling to which skim milk powder is bought in at fixed price. Therefore, should the 350,000 ton ceiling be reached, a system of tendering will apply until the end of December. From January, the original ceiling of 109,000 tonnes, at which fixed prices are paid, will restart. As with public intervention, the private storage aid schemes for dairy products are also due to expire on the 30th of September. For the same reason, the pub that public intervention has been extended. Private storage aid for skimmed powder will also be extended to the end of February 2017. As part of the September 2015 package, the Commission allowed Member States to increase the rate of advances to 70% for direct payments from the 16th of October, and indeed before that, if they wish, of, to the value and rate of 85% for area-based rural development payments. In we are doing so again this year, without the necessity of completing the on-the-spot checks. Reflecting concerns expressed in this House and elsewhere, I intend to update the support for withdrawals made by producer organisations.